Good morning, lots to get through in this week's block news. Gutenberg gets a brand new experimental grid block. There is a proposal for an incredibly exciting interactive API. I report on how now block themes are quicker than classic themes in WordPress 6.2. We take a quick look at two brand new native AI assistant writers in Gutenberg. I show you a plugin that fixes the number one issue with block themes at the moment. And Alan Rickman reads the latest Gutenberg review. Let's get newsy. Time for blog news. It's news about blogs. In the latest version of the Gutenberg plugin, there's an experimental grid feature which lets you simply add grids to your sites just using the grid block. It's actually a variation of the group block. To access it, install the Gutenberg plugin and then go to settings and experiments and you can turn it on there to have a play. It's not sure yet whether this is gonna be part of core, but it's an interesting experiment. There has been a proposal by Mario Santos for an interactive API. I'll put a link to the proposal in the comments below. It gets pretty technical, but fundamentally what this is, is a way for blocks to easily add interactivity into them. I'm gonna show a video, I'm gonna show the whole thing. It's only about two minutes long, but it kind of highlights what's possible with using the interactive API, and there's some pretty cool stuff in here. Let's take a look at some of the experiences that you can create easily thanks to the Interactivity API. You can navigate to the next page of the movie results without doing a full page reload. Each movie has a like button that synchronizes with this other block over here in the header so that whenever you like a movie, the number of likes is updated automatically in both places. When you navigate to the individual movie page, you see that the likes are still preserved. You can even play the movie trailer and the trailer will keep playing as you navigate around the site. Finally, you can search for a movie and the movie trailer will still keep playing and the results of your search update automatically without having to do a full page reload. The Interactivity API integrates perfectly with the block editor. Let's take a look. In the block editor, we can edit the search template that is used for the ins instant search. For example, let's add a block over here. Let's add a row. And here, let's add another like button. We can center it and save it. So now, when we reload the page and search for another movie, you can see that in the search results, now we can see those like icons. So the interactive API proposes a standard way for blocks to add interactive states into them. And again, it's a great example of how Gutenberg and WordPress isn't just a plugin or a page builder. It's actually a platform, which is one of the reasons I've been advocating it for so long. The WordPress performance team have been busy benchmarking the speed of WordPress 6.2 and specifically block themes and the speed of classic themes and the results have been incredibly interesting. And a few days ago, I sat down with Remkus, who is a performance expert, to talk about all things caching and speed. Full interview coming up on this channel in a few weeks time. And specifically, I asked him about the speed improvements of block themes versus classic themes. And here's what he said. Yeah, so the, the WordPress performance core team, uh, WordPress core performance team, sorry, has its, a Slack channel, which you can follow. And whenever there's a new release to happen, and we're, we've been doing this for the last couple of versions now, you can, you can sort of track what's going on. They share their findings inside a spreadsheet. And then the spreadsheet itself just lists the times that are, that are measured between the, all the different variances that they're testing. And the thing that, that stood out is that if you're using block themes, so native WordPress Gutenberg block themes, however you want to call them, you can see an increase of almost 25%. If you're using uh, old fashioned themes, it'll be somewhere around eight to 12. Um, wow. So okay. it, it's a good indication that WordPress is, is becoming faster internally. And it's also a good indication that using native WordPress as much as possible is the best way to go. And do you know why block themes specifically have that 25% jump this time around? Have you looked into that at all? Yeah, theme.json is most optimized around whatever happening with and inside of theme.json is where the most of uh, the resources have been spent. We already have some really great AI writers within WordPress. For example, we have AI Engine and we also have Bertha AI, but two new ones appeared in the last couple of weeks, which integrate the AI experience directly into the block editor. Here's one from my good friend, Munir Kamal. This is a look at his new one. And you'll see you're right in the block editor as you're writing your content. And it has some really, really cool features. I'm gonna review this hopefully over the next few days 
but it's got some really slick stuff in it. But the main thing is, is it's completely frictionless. So you're writing in the block editor, you're not having to go off to ChatGPT or somewhere else on the site. It's all nicely tied right within Gutenberg. And the second one is from the team at Human Made. And here you can see an example of it playing on the screen at the moment. And this shows an example where you're actually saying, list me all the moon landing attempts. It lists them all. And then after that, you can actually talk back to the AI and say, right now, insert this into a table. So you have this interactive ability with your AI. So this stuff is really mind blowing. One of my favorite and most useful plugins you can get for Gutenberg is called Block Visibility by Nick Diego. It's a beautifully built plugin. It has over 10,000 active installations. People absolutely love it. And it fixes probably the biggest issue at the moment when you're building sites with block themes because it allows you to have different mobile menus to your desktop menus. This used to have a pro version, but now the pro version has been molded into the free version. So it's all completely free. Again, I will do a video on how to use this for mobile menus, hopefully in the next week or so. I always like to finish a block news episode with a look at the latest Gutenberg reviews on the wordpress.org website. And I have to say, they're pretty negative again. Lots and lots of one stars, a few five stars. I'd love to get your opinion on why you think we're still getting so many negative reviews for Gutenberg. I absolutely love it and I teach lots of beginners and they generally really, really love using the editor. As I say, we've got a few five star down here, but if I scroll up, you'll see the majority of these are either one star or two star reviews with some really negative feedback. So let me know what you think. Why are we still getting such negative reviews around using Gutenberg? Do you find you struggle with it? But through the magic of AI, let's get Alan Rickman to read the latest review right now. Most of the Gutenberg locks are useless. I have been working with Gutenberg Editor for more than one and a half years, but most of the blocks are quite useless. When I use the blocks, my customer did like it. My customers still find it difficult to use. I must teach them at least two weeks, which they do not want to pay for it. Thank you, Alan. A bit negative, but beautifully read as ever. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Block News. If you like this video, if you can hit the like button now, it'd be amazing because it really, really, really does help spread the word of the channel. It makes a big difference. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. <laughs>